talking about. Let's go ahead and play that clip. If it isn't Hillary in November, does your act change? Does your outlook change? My act change? will change because I'll need to learn to speak Spanish because I will move to Spain or somewhere. <laughs> will Donald Trump be our next president? Oh. Oh, if that mother becomes president, I move my black ass to South Africa. And I need the coming to your country if you'll let me in or Canada. I already told you what I'm doing if he becomes president. I'm moving to Canada. Me and Drake gonna be neighbors if Donald Trump becomes president. <laughs> Listen, if he wins, he won't have to worry about immigration. We'll all go back. Jeez, I might leave. Is that right? Yeah, I might. Yeah, I might. <laughs> Where would you go? Canada. I've, I know everyone's always idly threatening this, but I'm 100% moving to Canada. I love Canada. And there's an area in Vancouver that I find beautiful and appealing, and I can conduct business from there. I'd be an expatriate. <laughs> uh, I would I would definitely move. Trump rent win. I'm moving to Africa. If any Republican gets nominated, I'm going to move to Canada with my entire family. No, I, I literally bought my ticket, You're I swear. You're a citizen, you know, of Canada. It's okay, I'll make it. I'll make it. I'll okay. figure that out. I, I did buy a house in another country just in case. So all these people <laughs> that, threaten, that threaten to leave the country and you then don't, I will leave that country. Well, I would consider getting in a rocket. <laughs> and going to another planet. Good, go with Cher. For me to move. And what's you know? With all right, there's a lot more of these. It's up on Infowars.com right now. Uh, these people all think you're weak-minded. They want to use peer pressure on you to bully you into not supporting a nationalist. Well, guess what? It blew up in your face, bullies. We'll be back.